Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hiker Dave here. Uh, I'm jumping right in head first. This video could could sink my channel. I don't know. I don't think it will, but I'm kind of touching on something that is that that is a touchy subject. I feel like it is anyways. I'm noticing in the Bigfoot uh, Bigfoot channels and Bigfoot researchers and I guess we'll call it the Bigfoot community, which is kind of I don't like that. I don't know why. Just us, us. Now, I want, if you're a researcher and you have a channel or you don't have a channel, you just like watching these channels, sit down with me for a second. Have a seat. This will not take long. I'm noticing, I consider myself an outsider. I've only had this channel for a few months. I've only been squatching for a year. So I really feel that my opinion is, is of that looking in, outside looking in. And before I get too deep down the rabbit hole, that is Bigfoot research, I want to tell you guys what I see from, from just stepping into this. I notice a divide between research channels, between guys that are out there in the field. And I'm not saying this about my channel or anybody other, other specific channel. I have, I'm, I've always had a strong belief that if you have nothing good to say about somebody, you don't say anything at all, keep it to yourself. Unfortunately, there are those out there that don't feel that way. I've seen videos of a guy out in the woods. He's looking for Bigfoot. I look down at the comments, and this guy's getting ripped by other people. You're a fool, you're an idiot, this and that, this and that. And I feel honestly feel bad for the guy. Now the the this isn't the first time I've seen it on multiple videos. I'm a couple of channels that are that are pretty cool that I like where where I'll see the comments and like why are these people saying that stuff? And I guess maybe I'm naive to it that there's people out there and this is new to me this trolls thing. I've just learned this. I only only just bought my very first computer. I bought a laptop a month ago brand new in this. So I guess this is a thing. People that are out there that just put underneath the comments all kinds of crap. Now I get that off my chest. Let's get back to the, the divide part. There's this disconnect between researchers. I feel that we don't share enough with each other. I, listen, guys, the, why are you doing this? Why? I, I believe you're doing it for the same reason as I am. I think everybody really has the, the same end game in mind. I want Bigfoot to be recognized as an authentic, living, breathing creature that we just didn't know about. All right? The science community, community can go and do whatever. They are not going to take us seriously, and that's obvious. Some of you big channels out there, too, that have been around for a long time, it's obvious they're not going to help us. There's no way, except for maybe, oh, man, no, his name is slipping my mind. I'm not happy about it, but he's been working with Todd Standing. But I'm, anyways, I share research with each other, guys. I can't do this myself. You know, and neither can you or you and you. None of you guys out there are going to get make this massive breakthrough by yourself. Help, help me help you. You help me. Get together more. I'm not saying it's unheard of. I see guys, too, that will shout out to oh, another channel and stuff like that. And that's great and everything. And, and I feel that, that there are channels out there that kind of will hide what they're doing. and. It's like the best analogy I could think of is a murder investigation. When a small town sheriff has, uh, finds a body in his county and the surrounding counties won't help him or the FBI swoops in and, yeah, we got this, and they won't share information. And all that does is just stop that investigation and it just dead ends. All of us, what we're doing out here is awesome, guys. All of these people are out there, and it's more and more every day, I feel, every day there's more people jumping on board with this, because you cannot deny the videos and the pictures and the casted prints, and, and the, you can't deny it. 
And I said it before, if one video is real, Bigfoot is real. So let's take a step back a little bit. What, what are you hiding information? Who are you hiding information from? I'm not saying this is definitely going on. Everybody's hiding and blah, blah, blah. But I do know, and I know if, you, if you're out there and you've been doing this for a while, there, there was backstabbing going on between researchers. I'm afraid now that I'm saying this, this video is going to blow up and have all kinds of negative comments underneath. Who do you think you are? You are brand new to this game. Listen, I, I admit I am a very small fish in a very large pond. All I'm trying to do is stir the waters a little bit and try to get a few people to maybe, um, to, to maybe share more information. I kind of am noticing and started to notice there are some kind of channels that are starting to get together with each other and go out together and research. Beautiful. That's awesome. I want to see, I'd like to see more than that. More of that. I've had some friends and coworkers say, Dave, you're crazy. You know, you tell people where you're hiking and where you live and stuff like that. Listen, I, I'm not too concerned about it. You know what I mean? I, I'm not doing anything wrong. Uh, you know what I mean? If, if some crazed person that sees this video knows, oh, this weekend, Hiker Dave's going to be up in New Hampshire and he's going hiking. Well, so what? Well, come with me. I, I don't care. I, I'm not afraid of some crazed lunatic coming to kill me. If that happens, then shame on Hiker Dave. And, and I shouldn't have been so open about where I hike and what I do. You, you know what I'm saying? But if we could, get, again, going back to that murder investigation with a small town sheriff who can't get help from the outside counties, it's very difficult to get anything done. But once you have these outside people come in and say, well, this is what I've learned, and this is what I've learned, oh, and this is what I've learned, all of a sudden that picture becomes much clearer. And I feel that if we could... Somehow, I, it's, it's, I don't even know how. I just know that there's not enough of it. There's not enough of it. There are ones out there, there are channels out there that are putting themselves right out there. I mean, you've got to admit, you guys, if you have a channel and you're talking about Bigfoot and you're showing footprints and showing pictures and video and, and talking about sightings of Bigfoot, you do realize you're putting yourself out there as a complete nut to people that don't believe in this thing. You know, for us, for me, I see a channel where you're finding prints out there. God, I love that. Yes, more, 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 right? But, uh, you know, so you're already putting yourself out there as a lunatic. It's to people that don't believe in Bigfoot. So you're in a, you're, you're in a family setting for crying out loud when you're talking about other channels. You're talking about a brother researcher, you know what I mean, or a sister researcher, and you're going to... You know, you, you need to, to share more information. That's all I'm saying, guys. And that's pretty much it with this video because I, I, I don't think this is going to do harm to my channel. If it does, it does. And I will not stop making these making videos. I love it, love it, love it. I, I, I love the feedback. It's very important that we push the agenda of Bigfoot, okay? Now, now you can only go so far. Until you you kind of hit a wall, and and I haven't hit that wall yet. Like for instance, Utah Sasquatch Rio. He has switched his research kind of over to sightings, and is now interviewing people that have seen Bigfoot. Now I watched him in a room with Doctor Bindernagel. It was like one of his last interviews, and this Doctor Bindernagel said right to Rio, the sightings aren't paid enough attention to. People write off. First-hand accounts of sightings. And then next thing you know, Rio jumped on that. He said, you're right. And he's out there doing that. And I think Rio is at the point, I can't speak for you, Rio, and I apologize. I'm not trying to. I I just seems to me you've had enough. You, you know Bigfoot's out there. You've seen them. You hear them. You see their track. So I think what he's trying to do is take that next step to put it out there and to get these sightings and first-hand accounts out into the so out into the public more. So I rambled. That's a little too much rambling. Again, Utah Sasquatch, Rio, you're awesome. Your channel is what got me to do research. Your channel did this to me. How dare you? But thank you, Rio. Thank you. But let's get together more, guys. 
please call, call to an uprising, right? Let's get more together with each other and communicate with each other more, okay? Some of these huge channels that I've been in contact with, I get a message back, a comment back. That's what I'm talking about. Us little guys, we need feed us a little bit, right? Give us a little love, man. All right, man. All right, enough of the joking. That's what my that's what this video I wanted to be about. T try to get together, guys. Share more information. I share everything, man. There ain't nothing I'm hiding. Nothing I'm hiding at all. And uh, keep squatching, you guys. If you're out there, get in the woods, man. And and uh, you know, that's it. Thank you very much for clicking, and I'll see you on the next one.